Hey, what's up guys? I have a bit of a Mac tutorial for you today, and this is specifically for users of OS X El Capitan and any versions that come out after that, if you're watching this in the future. Uh, when El Capitan came out, Apple made some changes to disk utility, which is the section of OS X that allows you to reformat disks, erase partitions, repartition drives, do all that kind of stuff. And it looked like they got rid of a feature called erase free space. Now this uh, option allowed you various security settings to erase the data that's on your disk. With a normal erase where you put something in the trash and just empty the trash, the data is still on the disk and it's fairly easy to recover. The erase free space option uh, gave you some options for writing uh, basically empty data over all of the blocks on your hard drive to make sure everything was securely erased and it gave you lots of options on how many times you wanted to do that. Uh, a lot of people seem to think that Apple got rid of this, but they just moved where it is and they changed how they've named it a little bit. So I'm going to show you how to get there. Let's go to Disk Utility. Um, this will take a little time to pop up all your drives, depending on how many you've got. Let's grab one of my drives here. This is the one here that I want to erase for free space on. Now, it's important that you click on the volume within the drive. So that's my Western Digital Drive there on the top level. You need to click the one below that. Then we come to Erase, and here we have this new option, Security Options. And here are the previous options that used to be labeled Erase Free Space. So we can do uh, various speeds of Erase Free Space, basically, um, all the way up to this one that says uh, meets US Department of Defense Standards for Security Erasing Magnetic Media. Uh, I never bother with that one. I Usually I just go with one of these ones. This one will take uh, potentially days on... Um, on a large hard drive. So there you have, these are all the exact same options that we had before. Once you've done that, you select how you want it formatted and you select what you want the new name to be once the drive is erased. Now, I think the thing that confused a lot of people is if you come to erase when you have the top level drive selected, that security option is not there. So I think that was confusing a lot of people and as well as the fact that they've completely changed the layout of this whole thing. So once you select the volume within it, Erase, security options, and here you have your erase free space options right here. All right, I hope that was useful, guys. Thanks.